official television station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. Illinois baseball coach Dan Hartlip goes for a win number 519 in his career. It would give him the all-time Illini wins record for a coach passing Lee Eilbrecht, who he starts the night tied with. Illinois facing Missouri in Sage in the Bragging Rights game. They do it in basketball, do it in baseball as well. Tigers take a 3 nothing lead in the first before the Illini answer bottom two. Ryan Mormon, a deep left. It's gone for a solo shot to cut the lead to two. Illinois with a rally in the fourth. Mormon rips this one to right center for the RBI base hit. He goes two for three in the game with three RBI for two Mizzou. Then two batters later, Brody Harding drives in another to trim that lead to one. But Missouri tacks on two more. And they win at 6-5, the final, leaving Hartlib still 1-1 away from that historic mark. I want to get it out of the way so, so that we can just concentrate on, on baseball. And, uh, you know, it, when we get there, it'll be an honor. It's an honor to be in this position. Uh, but the bottom line is we need to win games as a, as a team. And, you know, every uh, game's really important for us. So hopefully we can get it done Friday and move forward and concentrate on the rest of the season. Hartlib gets a chance to break that record Friday night at home against Michigan. Illinois softball back home hosting Southern Illinois University Edwardsville and the orange and blue bats were hot early. Stevie Mead with a liner to left that is long gone. A two run shot in the bottom of the first puts them on the board. Just two batters in and they pile it on from there. Make it a six run frame after Paige Berkmeyer the catcher sends a three run shot to ride five home runs on the day. It all adds up to a 13 to 4 orange and blue win. Coleman Hawkins is entering the NBA draft. The Illini forward will test the waters while keeping his college eligibility. Hawkins was third on the team in scoring this season as a junior, averaging 9.9 .9 points per game. He led the Illini in rebounding and assists second in blocks. It was an up and down season for the six foot 10 California native from a triple double against Syracuse to a six turnover game in the NCAA tournament. Hawkins projected by several outlets as a mid to late second round pick. He has until May 31st to make a final decision on his future. More Alana basketball news today. Jaden Epps portaling after just one season in Champaign, saying after careful consideration, he has decided to enter the portal. He is confident this is the best decision for his future and personal growth to play elsewhere. Epps became the team's lead guard with the turn of the new year, tied for fourth on the squad, averaging nine and a half points per game. The Virginia native, a top 75 prospect out of high school, part of a heralded four person recruiting class. That's now half gone. Sky Clark also in the portal. To Illinois football, where new defensive coordinator Aaron Henry set to make $700,000 this season. It's a two year contract. The Illinois Board of Trustees will formally approve it at its meeting on Thursday. Henry got promoted from defensive backs coach. This is one of several moves. Terrence Jamison, also co defensive coordinator, he'll make $550,000. Charlie Bowen at 550 as well. Thad Ward, the running backs coach at half a mil. Robbie Disher, Antonio Finellis at 350 and 325 respectively. All these contracts go to the BOT on Thursday. Head coach Brett Bielema says a lot to gel in spring ball with all these new coaches. So all four of those hires when I brought them in, like I would, hey, here's your group, but I don't paint a picture. I don't say, hey, this guy can do this, this guy, I want them to develop those relationships. And I wasn't in a big hurry. I didn't go after resumes. I went after great fits, and I think hopefully that's the result we can have. We'll see it all come together on the field for the first time. Spring game Thursday, April 20th. A lot going on today yeah. for a Tuesday. We'll see what happens with Coleman. I, I had a lot of people it. saying, is he going to go? Is he going to come back? He's got some decisions to make. NIL, a part of that as well. He's going to test the process, though. Interesting to see.